Hey guys, I'm LB, and I don't know about you, but that disc appears to be Parabolical by K7 Avenger. Get to the exit using faceplates and a timed pedestal button. A puzzle made for not contest number 3, theme of the contest is to make a puzzle with a timed pedestal button as the only connection to the exit. This is also my first map using faceplates. Right. Well, let's get started. There's our exit condition. Pretty decently long timer, it seems. It's enough to run through a portal by the exit, I suppose. Now, this is interesting, so if we come back over here, I imagine this will clear our portals. Hmm, unless we have just the right amount of velocity. I wonder what that could be about. And here we have the main area. We have... That button that turns off that fizzler. Looks like... Looks like this fizzler does not turn off, so we'll have to vault over it in order to do anything useful. Interesting. Let's continue exploring. That is quite a high ceiling. That's also interesting, that's probably where we're gonna get a lot of height from. I wonder, I bet that is too much height, and if we stand on the wall here, that is enough height. Although I'm not sure how intended it is to stand on the wall, I'm going to assume that it's intended that we're able to do it. Because, uh, otherwise that'd be kind of a weird restriction. Oh my gosh! Not at all what I expected! There's also another way to get momentum up there! <laughs> Holy crap! <laughs> it looks like these can come out and, uh, yeah, do this. So that will alter the amount of momentum we get from the faith plate, basically. What do we have in here? Looks like this is a good... good way to get to the exit. There's a return phase plate. How nice and convenient. Yeah, we definitely need to use that to get to the exit. There's no other way around it. Might be using that phase- oh! That's also something I hadn't considered. That sends us through here, that's another way to get velocity. There's so many different ways to get different amounts of velocity in this map. Different amounts of momentum and such. Interesting. Right, well, let's get out of here for now. And... Let's just head up here, I suppose. So we're up here now. Oh my gosh! Why, thank you for that Microsoft Windows 10 Fall Creators update. This is... Surely not making anybody throw up on their monitors. Right, well, that's enough of that. So, uh, yeah, this button... this button does those. What the heck? What are these gray boxes? Oh, that's the... It just looks weird because they're almost not textured. But they do have a texture, it's just very... It's just very similarly colored texture. Yeah. Yeah, so that does that. And I'm assuming this- this button turns off this fizzler. We can't actually jump- Oh no! That's not for us. That is for cubes only. Well. I think we should start by doing this, right? Let's go ahead and turn this portal sideways just so we come out closer to the button. There we go. That is not what I meant to do. At all. There we go. Let's go all the way back down here. Let's see if this is enough velocity. I don't think it will be, but we can try. Yeah, that's not enough. Right, so. Next alternative... Can we see... no, we can't. Well, no, we just need to drop down here. Like a normal person. Yeah. But then what? I guess... Yeah, plunk a portal over there. That should work. Run all the way down here. Let's see if this gets us the velocity we need. Save and continue. There we go. A little bit of a delay on the continue. There we go! That is the velocity we need. So now this should be... Auto-respawning. Good. It does auto-respawn. That makes me happy. That simplifies our life dramatically. So now we just rinse and repeat, I guess. I mean, I could just do it the easy way, but why not do it this way since we've already got to set it up? Let's see if I can grab this cube or not. Oh, 
Well, that was a miss. Let's try that again. Yada yada yada. I know I can just place portals and do things the easy way. Yada yada yada. Right. Okay, I need to go right as it's right as right before it's dropping. Actually, let's just let's just no clip back across for the sake of simplicity. That was too early, and also too early. That was also too early. <laughs> uh, let's try this. Again. That was didn't even mean to step on the safe plate there. Kind of early. Still too early. Why am I going so early? I know I'm probably overcomplicating this, but whatever. Still too early? Wow. I'm not good at judging the timing on this. There we go, finally! Oh, you separate me from my cube, huh? Sure. Right. Back up top we go. Completely unnecessary to maintain the green portal there, but I did it because I could. Right. So I'm guessing we juggle the cube there, and then use that to get it into the other room. That would be my guess. Will this juggle it without issue? Hmm. Maybe I should place the cube on the ground first. Oops, that is not what I wanted to press, I wanted to press E, actually. There we go. Let's put the cube approximately there-ish. Run over here, and do... that. It's so neat how that actually works. Like, you would think that it wouldn't work because these are two separate objects that just happen to be next to each other, but the game is coded in such a way that it works, which is neat. Right. And... Down you go. Oh, we can actually just do that. Or not. Right, I forgot we have to actually juggle it. <laughs> did I save? Where did I save? I don't remember now. Yes, I wanted to juggle it for a reason. Silly me. Oh good. We saved here. Although now we have this absolutely terrible sound. The horror. Can we fix it by doing this? Oh my gosh. There, we got music, but no other sounds. <laughs> Let's just do that. I do not like the terrible sound from B-Mod Fizzlers that they do that. Right. Portal. Portal. Did it work? Did it work? Oh, it worked! Okay, I just didn't even get to see it. <laughs> Alright, it worked, I think. Yep, there we go. Alright, so... Now, let's head down here and see what this does for us, if anything. Hmm. Well... It'll turn off that fizzler for us is good news on that front. We Not enough. Nowhere near enough. Hmm. Well, let's try the alternative faceplate then. Will you be enough? There we go, that's enough. Looks like there's not gonna be any easy way for us to actually stand up there at all, so... Don't have to worry about that. Hmm... So now here's a question, what do we do at this point? More useful to have... Hmm... 
think at this point we want to set things up so we can press the button, quickly get into there, and then faceplate ourselves across, right? Because we can put the cube up on that button up there now. So I think we want to place our black portal in here. Let's do that. And don't need to move the cube just yet. Let's do... let's go over here and do this first. First of all, let me see how high this gets us across, if any distance at all. No, I need to take the cube first. So first of all, yeah. Let's, uh... put that portal there. Gimme that. And, uh... Let's put the cube into position. So first of all... How far does this get us? Not too far, so that's good news. So now, we can come up here... ...do this... ...and now I can put the cube here. So I think we need it to be here. Otherwise, I don't think we'd be able to make it all the way up to the exit. Yeah, so now that I've done that, I think it's- I think it's pretty trivial from here, honestly. Yeah, alright, so. Wish me luck. Come on now. Yeah, did it! Nice work, K7 Avenger. I did like that. That is a good map favorite. And, alright, well guys, as always, thank you so much for watching, I really appreciate it, and I'll see you all in another video. Goodbye!